Alrighty everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you guys see in the title, it is Mail Day. So welcome to Mail Day, everyone. Uh, Salsa's already fired up. I know she has a package for herself. I hear Salsa Girl uh, coming along to say hello. Um, but thank you to everyone who sent mail. If you guys are curious and you want to send any sort of package, my PO Box information is in the description below. Uh, all you have to do is copy and paste it. I will probably do one more Mail Day right around the holidays, the winter holidays around Christmas and whatever it might be. But uh, thank you to everyone who sent mail. Uh, we do have a couple of letters here. If you guys included a gift with your letter, I will definitely read it on camera. So we have one here from Mark C in Texas, one from Jen D in Binghamton, New York. You have one from Judith W in North Carolina and Richard in San Antonio, Texas. So thank you to all that. I will be addressing your letters off camera. Uh, and we will go ahead and read this one. Uh, I don't know if Salsa wants to read it, but the great thing about this one, this is one from Linda F. And in her sticker, she has a uh, a little, it looks like, it looks like a, uh, a golden retriever as well. One of the, uh, the white golden retrievers. English cream, I think they're called. Salsa is fired up. I think we might have to go outside here. All right, so Salsa and I just went outside, but this one is from Linda F. in California. This is addressed to Taco Stacks and Salsa. I don't know if there's... Nope, that's it. Right over there. Uh, one who finds a faithful friend finds a treasure. That's a great, uh, that's a great card. Maybe Salsa will have a brother one day. Probably not. This is... Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is a great one. I believe this is a... Bookmark. Taco stacks and salsa. Coffee or drink for those cold mornings along with your breakfast. Take care. Hugs for salsa from your friend Linda F. So Linda F. included what looks to be a uh, bookmark. A bunch of goldens. Great. I love it. And a $10 bill. $10 in cash. So thank you Linda F. This was sent October 31st. So it wasn't too long ago. I am trying to get to these mail days a little bit sooner. Uh, but thank you, Linda F. Thank you for the wonderful card. I love it. It's uh, it's great. And uh, thank you for the bookmark and the money. Thank you. All right. So I do have some packages behind me. You'll see there's packages over there and there's packages over here. They are so large. I didn't want to put them on a table because I will be like swamped with them. Uh, but we will get to them at the end. Uh, we're going to knock out these smaller packages here. I'm opening this up if I have an address and who this is from. This one's from Susan M. in Canyon Lake, Texas. Canyon Lake, Texas. I think um, I used to know someone from Canyon Lake, Texas, which is crazy because what are the odds? Ooh, looks like we have some hats maybe. We have this one. Is that one all at the bottom? No, it's just the bottom of it. Also, I can't read cursive, so if you guys... Hey, look! Another golden retriever letter. I can't read cursive, so if you guys include a letter and write in cursive, good luck. I'll probably just abbreviate half of it and just say thank you. This one's not in cursive. I love seeing the houses and streets. Reminds me of home, follows my favorite time. Uh, you were born in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, so awesome. Yes, I used to go to Harrisburg quite often in my earlier days. You moved to Texas when you are 11. Uh, that is cool. Uh, you know, Texas is actually a state I want to travel to. Uh, but that's cool that you were from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, because that's not that far from here. And I used to go to, uh, to Harrisburg quite often. I was about to say I used to go to Texas quite often. I haven't been to Texas, but uh, very, very cool. Hello from Texas. I saw these and thought you would enjoy them. Keep up the awesome work you do. You are making a difference. Thank you. Susan, please give Salsa a hug for me. I will gladly give Salsa a hug for you. Thank you, Susan, for the wonderful letter. Uh, it appears that there's a hat in here as well as maybe a T-shirt. I think that's just the bottom. And I believe it's just the bottom. That is just the bottom. That's smart. I'm pretty sure you just put this piece of paper in there. So if I cut it, I don't cut into what I'm opening. Very, very smart. I do that quite often whenever I pack something in a box. Uh, we have a, what looks like a promotional giveaway hat for the Houston Astros, I actually used to remember when they used to have this logo. Great logo. I used to like this a lot more than what they have right now. Um, this was like the mid-2000s into like the late-2000s logo. Very, very cool. It says Los Astros, so it must have been 
uh, a Hispanic day, some sort of or Latin day uh, night kind of uh, game where they used to have jerseys as well. They're probably said Los Astros. Uh, we do have a t-shirt here. <laughs> this is a great shirt. Pardon my swag. You got the old Charlie Brown, I think that is. The old Charlie Brown. Guy looks like he's jamming out. I think that's Charlie Brown, right? That was actually a show I didn't watch too much, but uh, I do remember it. I do remember, uh, is that like the whole Peanuts and Snoopy thing? Maybe I'm completely losing it. But I think that's all the same category. Uh, thank you, Susan, for the t-shirt. And thank you for the hat. Hopefully all is well in Texas. And you're doing well and doing fine during these times. Greatly appreciate the gift. And thank you for the t-shirt and hat. Thanks. This one is from Scott. Uh, looks like Port Wentworth and maybe Georgia. Uh, I received this package. It has this thing, a sticker on it. Oh, that's not, oh, that one's falling out. So one thing is I actually open up all these packages beforehand, um, but I don't actually look what's inside. I don't unwrap things, whatever it might be, but this package arrived. So right there on the back, there's not. Uh, this package arrived open, so if you sent something that's not included in this package, it fell out somewhere along the line. I have the sticker that says, received unsealed at 18083. So it received unsealed in Stocker Town. The straw. I don't see a letter. This letter? So it's written on a typewriter. Mr. Patrick Dow, that is not me, and that's from 1959. All right. So I don't know if half this thing is like stuff you sent or if it's not stuff you sent uh, or things got taken out. We have some. Uh, printed pattern. This is very common simplicity. This is for your textiles. I think this is if you want to create a shirt. Older one, that that's probably from what the 60s, I'd bet. 70s. This one is a candy wrapper. This is a piece of paper that is printed with a typewriter from a national bank for your tax receipts in 1958. Tax receipt that they got it or that they are enclosing your paid tax sheet for your tax dude. 1958. We have some, oh, this is a pencil sharpener, as well as an empty box for something. Color slides. An older box for color slides and a straw. So thank you, Scott, for that. Uh, I don't know if half the things are gone. If you guys are curious about sending any uh, packages or anything, uh, make sure you got a tape at both sides. I know these are the self-sealing ones. The self-sealing ones generally do pop open uh, given different temperatures that they, they go through. So if they go on an airplane, whatever it might be, the self-sealing kind of shrinks and expands. So uh, that might have happened. I didn't see a letter, but thank you, Scott, for that. Greatly appreciate the gifts. Uh, moving right along, we have a package here from Flatiron Arms. This is the one that popped open. I don't see a letter. But this is a mini LED hat clip light. Micro. So I guess this goes on your hat, and it's a little light. Fun fact of the day, when I was probably in elementary school, I thought of this. I thought of this invention. I thought of this and putting lights on your sneakers. And I'm pretty common or pretty sure these things were around for a lot longer than that. Uh, I also thought about putting wheels on your sneakers, kind of like Heelys. I thought about all that in elementary school before I even ever saw it in real life. Uh, if I was maybe 20, 30 years older by that time, possibly I could have thought of some of these inventions. I don't think these hat lights were around, but they could have been. Um, but yeah, there's probably no lights on sneakers, like lights that face forward. Now looking back on it, I don't know if that's really been a great idea, but yeah. Uh, but thank you for the hat clip, the light hat clip from Flat Iron Arms. Greatly appreciate it. Probably will use that next year for, um, for flea markets. Sounds like a great idea. Thank you. Alrighty, here we have one from Linda F. in Alaska. Feels like a license plate. Yep, so also getting fired up. Got a letter and it looks like a license plate. Oh, 
<laughs> Dear Taco and Salsa, I'm not sure if you have an Alaskan license plate yet, but now you do. Sorry if it's a rough shape, but I bought it at Antique Store Pier. I sure do enjoy your YouTube channel and always look forward to a new one where you pull one out. God bless Linda from Alaska. So thank you, Alaska. Or <laughs> thank you, Linda, uh, for the license plate. I definitely do not have this plate. I'm almost a thousand percent certain I don't have this plate. I think I do have one Alaska plate, but this one looks different. Um, just off the top of my head, I don't think I have this one. So this one will be going up very shortly. I'm almost finished with the wall. I will be adding a couple of plates from probably this go around. Uh, but thank you, Linda, for the license plate. This will go on the wall. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well in Alaska. That is one state I would love to go to. Uh, it's definitely Alaska, the last frontier. So thank you, Linda, for that. Thank you for the license plate. Hopefully all is well in Alaska and everything is doing all right. Hopefully it doesn't snow too much. I think... Uh, I think it is winter like now. I don't know if it's one of those, uh, I think it is now, right? Winter's now and it gets really bad up there. So stay safe and thank you for the license plate. Always cool, always cool. We have a package here from 716 Candle Company out of Grand Island, New York. Oh yeah, check them out. 716candleco.com. Looks like they have a bunch of different styles on that if you guys want to check that out go on to their website thanks for all entertainment while we were quarantined enjoy all your videos keep up the work and close is a little thank you hope you enjoy chat so check out their company uh, 716candlesco.com what's in here love the box too perfect size for this Ooh, perfectly wrapped <laughs> the funny thing is this smells exactly like it that's amazing Yeah, Dr. Pepper candle on the inside. Is that like an, that looks like an official can too. Do you just like drink the can of soda and then just make it into a candle? I don't know, but that's really cool. And that's in really good shape. That's awesome. That would, you know what, that would be perfect to have in your house or your apartment. If you're like in high school, you're in college and you know, somebody's like, oh, just clean up your room. Be like, no nah, man, it's a candle. You can really trick your mom with that. The smell on this is amazing as well. It smells like a hint of Christmas and Dr. Pepper. It's a great smell. Absolutely great smell on that. 716candlecode.com. Check them out. Thank you, Chad, for that. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, now it is candle season, so I will be using that very shortly. I do have three candles up there that I light probably every night for about 30 minutes make the house smell pretty well or pretty good uh but thank you chad for that greatly appreciate it hopefully all is well with your business as well here we have one from matthew w in uniontown ohio bum, bum, bum. looks like we got a license plate it says truck on it. i'm not gonna flip it over i haven't seen the other side but oh didn't see the other side yet it says truck on the bottom because i can see it's embossed Taco, thanks for the great content. Here's another license plate for your wall. Matt from Uniontown, Ohio. So I can't see on this side, but I'm gonna assume it's probably an Ohio plate. It does say truck on the bottom and we'll flip it over. I'll see if you guys, it is an Ohio plate. It's an Ohio plate I do not have. That is for sure. I think I have three Ohio plates right now. This is one I've never seen. So it probably means I don't have it. Uh, it doesn't really show up too well on camera, but if you look zoomed in, you can see it's got all these different writings on it. That is awesome. Very, very cool. It's giving me a sort of vibe. If anyone follows college football, Oregon, some people call it Oregon, Ducks, University of Oregon, University of Oregon, whatever you like to say, their football, pro pro football program. Football program has these really cool jerseys, really unique. I think uh, the founder of Nike went to that school. Um, so they have crazy amount of stuff, but they've made a lot of jerseys and uniforms with like this kind of all over text in the background, but very subtle. Very, very cool. Thank you for that, Matt. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Did you get your name right? Yeah, Matt. Sometimes I feel like I'm losing it, but thank you, Matt from Uniontown. I greatly appreciate it. This license plate will be going up on the wall. Uh, and yeah, thanks, Matt. Greatly appreciate it as well. Uh, hopefully, every, hopefully everything is going well with you. Thank you, Matt. Well, I guess I'm gonna go with the smallest package here. This one is addressed, well, 
two salsa stacks. You guys like my shorts? I'm wearing shorts today. Yes, yeah, salsa, this is addressed to you. Now, if you want to come up here and sit down over here and open up the package with me, you are more than welcome. If you want to take a nap, that's cool as well. All right. It looks like Salsa Girl's gonna to want to take a nap. But Jackie P from Northport, Florida, sent two packages, one to Salsa and one to Taco Stacks that I think is that one. Um, so thank you, Jackie P. I greatly appreciate this one. This one's addressed to Salsa Girl. I left my scissors up there, so like always, when I use something I probably shouldn't use, that would be my house keys. I see... <laughs> I see treasures. <laughs> Salsa Wolf, something inside a box for you. Also, Taco, thank you. Well, I guess Salsa can't read this letter, so I guess I will do that for you, Salsa. No, nope, now she's sniffing her paws. Good old Salsa dog. So thank you, Jackie P, for this wonderful packages. So I say mystery boxes. They're not mystery boxes. They're packages. Gifts for Salsa. Hello, sweet Salsa girl. A few things for you for being such a great inspector. <laughs> Hope your dad gives you a big old hug for me. Now for Salsa. Wolf, wolf, barf, bark. <laughs> Peace, Arf. Jackie, forgot a package in your box. <laughs> oh, I, I guess you forgot something. You put something in here that you forgot to put in the other one, so I guess you must have packed that one up first. But thank you for that. Wow, that is a massive thing. What is that? Wow, that's awesome. figure out something there. I can figure out something there. If not, I can always put it... I'm thinking about adding a water bowl in my room just because at night she never leaves my room. She just like sleeps with me and just like doesn't leave. I'm like, don't you get thirsty? So she never leaves. Um, chicken and waffle bites. She's also going to love that. She loves food. We have her favorite toy. This and the donut. But I'm pretty sure this is her favorite. I think I said that last video as well. It's a taco made by Zippy Paws. I'm trying to think if I even gave her the last one I had or if she tore, tore it up immediately. But this is her favorite toy by far. Uh, it comes in a bunch of different sizes. She's had maybe like six of them over the last two years. It goes very, very well for salsa. She loves that thing. Uh, this one, no chipmunks will do for a second, I'm sure. But this one is, looks like a chipmunk I open this up for everyone to see. It's a mini, mini something. It's like a little chipmunk. Not showing too well on camera. Mini skinnies. Oh, she's fired up. Is she over there? <laughs> uh, so we'll give her a toy here. It's also, I'll give you a toy. She, she, she sees a gift. I'll give you the taco. And you have to wait, Salsa. You have to wait. Off she's going to run with it. Whoa, what's that? Nope. You don't want to wait? You don't want to wait for your rest of your toys? All right. I guess good old salsa dog didn't want to wait for the rest of her toys or her gifts, but uh, we have another toy there. This is the hat that I think was supposed to go in the other package. Awesome Atlanta 1996 Olympics hat. Very, very cool. I love that. Uh, very awesome. Throw that bad boy over there. And then this is an awesome, look at that. It's like a mouse pad, but it's a dog mat. And I'm wondering if this is going to fit. I don't know. Do you put like the dog bowl like right on this? Or do you put it like where she stands? I don't know. 
I'll have to look. Like, does that look right? That doesn't look right. Maybe it's supposed to be like this. So much dog hair. I vacuumed yesterday. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. And like she stands there. Or maybe you're supposed to put the bowls like on top. Huh. All right, I'm going to keep that there for like the time being, but I think that's probably going to end up going in my room, and I'm going to put a... Sauce is going nuts. Uh, I'm probably going to end up putting that in my room and put a water bowl on top. Because Salsa Girl does not have a water bowl in my room, and she spends a lot of time up there. All right, that goes up there. All right, so thank you, Jackie, for that. Salsa is going to absolutely love this. She's already going nuts in the background, as you can hear. Uh, but Jackie, thank you for that. I know you did send another package, so we'll get into that one. Greatly appreciate it. Salsa appreciates it, as you can hear. All right. Uh, so, yes, we have a package here. Massive, Jackie, thank you for this. I know a lot of people do spend quite a bit on shipping, uh, shipping these heavy packages as well as shipping larger packages across this country. Uh, I know a lot of people do spend a lot of money on shipping. Uh, so thank you to everyone who, who, do, who does spend a little bit of money on shipping as well as people who just might spend two or three dollars. But uh, for people who spend 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks and plus, uh, I greatly do appreciate it. Uh, it does mean a lot, and thank you for all the support. So, uh, here we have a package. It looks like we have a letter over here. This is a very large... I gotta figure this out. Looks like three pieces inside for taco. What we got here? We got a letter. Got good old penguins. Salsa's back. Wow. Just an FYI, I don't wear t-shirts or hats, so cash will work. No? Wow. Thank you for that. Go get some pizza, dog food, treats, gas for the van, auction, or maybe a storage unit. Your choice. I enjoy your videos and want to show my appreciation for you making them. I wish I knew your eBay store. You find such cool things, but I understand why you don't say it in your videos. Also wish I knew your real name. I also understand that, but it makes it hard to put in new will. <laughs> it puts you in my will since Taco Stacks doesn't cut it. I'm joking about the will. Keep doing what you love. I've become a stacker. Maybe I should change that to a stalker. <laughs> Kidding again. Have a great day. Peace, Jackie. Jackie, and Jackie included a $100 bill um, with this. So thank you for that, Jackie. I greatly appreciate that. That means a lot uh, that you would spend or donate or gift me that much money. Um, I greatly appreciate that, Jackie. That means a lot. We have three pieces inside here. What we got? Looks like we have a keepsake. Oh, keepsake ornament, 1996 Olympics. That's cool. So this year I think I'm getting a treat. I'll throw that one on there. What is this? Looks like we have some pins possibly. Ooh, Olympics. I wonder if you came across a bunch of Olympic stuff or this is maybe your stuff. We have a whole bunch of Olympic pins. I've never seen those. That is awesome. Thank you for that. Looks like I have a whole collection of Olympic stuff. That would explain why the Olympics hat was in the other package. And this looks like a, possibly another ornament or a small tin. It's a tin. Oh, no, it's bandages. Limited edition bandages for the Olympics. That's great. Very, very cool. So thank you, Jackie, for that. That's awesome. Got a lot of Olympic stuff here. Um, I think I'm going to start a little collection of 96 Olympics items. I've had some sweatshirts. Uh, I should probably put this, you know, I'll just salsa. I'm going to put this up here. Do not eat it. Got a lot of stuff going on on this table. Um, this one's addressed to Paper Moose. So that will go to her. What was I saying? Oh, I do have a bunch of Olympic stuff, but it's one thing that I really do love, and I love all Olympic wear, so I think I might just end up keeping it. This one is a blanket. <laughs> I might put this on the floor, because this thing is pretty heavy, and our thing says, careful, do not throw it like you pack your pants. <laughs> A 
letter here. I believe this is the letter. Okay. Hello, sir. Taco Sacks and Pizza. I hope this finds you both well. Okay, I hope the letter makes it in the box this time. For your information, when you come upon wood drawers and a stick, the piece will work if you rub dub soap or on the tracks and drawers. White water rings white water rings will come off if you put a white t-shirt over spot and rub a warm iron back and forth on it. Okay, yeah, yeah. So sometimes they have like a ring, like a water damage ring. Uh, it takes a while, but it also works. Check both out on YouTube. Third one is salsa. When you find single metal plant stands, you can use them to place your bowls in. Big dogs digest better with a higher bowl. Okay, now onto the box. You will not hurt my feelings since you seem like a nice guy. If you do not like, need, or want these items, sell them, give them away, or throw them away. I won't see you do it, lol. Or donate. No one I know likes these things. I need to purge you, my lucky friend. Get them. There's a one-size-fits hoodie. Fits all hoodie you can wear to sleep. That's what it's made for. It's brand new. No need to make you skeeve out. I'm pretty sure two people can fit in there. Please forgive the dog hair if you find it. I have an inspector also. Happy box treasure hunting. Peace, Jackie. As salsa goes back to her toy. Thank you, Jackie, once again. Uh, I believe this is the uh, one size fits all. It is. The one size fits all hoodie. This is massive. <laughs> Yeah, this is one size fits all. This is wide. You can really do fit two people in here. Salsa's good. Salsa's currently smelling it. So thank you for that. We'll put that on the top. That don't don't fall. Down. All right. Uh, that goes. All right. Uh, do I want to throw this back up here? I think I should. Oh wow. These salt and pepper shirts are from the 1940s, but do you get a lot? Do you get it? Oh, but do you get it? I don't know. Do I get it? Do I get it? I'm just curious what it might be. Do I get it? They're rocking chairs. I think they're rocking chairs that are also, well, you can kind of see it. it's a rocking chair, but it has a bottom on it, like a square box, almost like the old fashioned uh, toilets would have. Uh, but I haven't seen a rocking chair with like the toilet, but I can kind of get it if that's where you're getting at, but we have a pair here. There's a white one and a black one. It's actually really cool. Salt and pepper shakers are something I never really got into, but I can really appreciate them. This one is, Commemorative Olympic Sports Medallions. This is bringing back some memories. Oh, we got a bunch of different ones. We got volleyball, we got ice hockey, bobsled, and uh, downhill skiing. These might have came out of, I want to say, cereal. Got a whole bunch here. Just because it says General Mills on it, I'm thinking it's probably cereal. But I don't know. I can be completely off. A bunch of coins. Some of these packing things. You know, probably. Put a few in your van, Jeep, better than blankets and winter in less space. Give a few to paper and moose. Also, they work in the house. Also, plenty to give family. Also, keep warm. They are rescue blankets. A lot of them. The authorities in the van. These are, you know, one thing is like when winter comes along, I always throw a spare blanket in my Jeep and my van because you can be in some serious trouble if you don't have those. I'm gonna go ahead and take out all of these so I get this box off. This is for paper and mousse. All right, so we got things everywhere. It's like the early holidays for myself here. Thank you, Jackie, for all these wonderful gifts, and thank you to everyone who sent me wonderful gifts. We got a tin, so I was right with the other one, but this is actually the tin for the Olympics. Very, very cool, there's nothing in it. I don't know why I smelled it, but I did smell it. Uh, very cool Olympic tin, also on the back as well for the Sentinel, Centennial Games. Cent Centennial. Uh, Centennial Games. 996 Olympics. 
Do not throw like pack in your van, so I'm gonna open t shirts which I could probably throw around. Biz collection. Got ourselves a little polo shirt. Ooh, bears. Bears. It's kind of like a uh, like a bowling shirt, but bears. It's in the same colorway as the Hershey Bears. Very, very cool. Also fit. Maybe if I go golfing, I'll wear this as well. I have to go golfing at least once this year. I think we're running out of time with that, but uh, we're going to get there. We have something that looks very, very heavy over here, uh, which might be, I'm going with plaques or something, so I'm going to go with the one that says, careful, do not throw like pack in your van. And now I'm getting a little rambi. Go back to the old keys. <laughs> Keys that have a Swiss Army knife on them. I'm starting to lose it. So right, like that salsa, you don't want to get hit in the face with that knife. That would hurt. Uh oh. Looks like we have some candy. Packing peanuts, not for you, salsa. I don't know how you knew my favorite M&Ms were almonds, but they are. Thank you for the almond peanuts. This looks like we have possibly a, oh, just a, oh, it's a canister. A peanut canister from, looks like, 1983. You guys can see the logo away on that. You have the old Olympic logo on the back, like in the USA. Very, very cool. Thank you for the peanuts. Peanuts, the M&Ms, greatly appreciate that as well. Very, very cool. All sorts of great gifts here, Jackie. Uh, this one says two pounds. Might be a book. Oh, we got two books. Love it. Want to have some reading to do, Saul, so we're going to do some reading. 1996 Olympics. This looks like a, uh, yeah, it's a program. Souvenir program. Love it. Man, I'm going to have a great collection. Then we have 100 Years of Glory Athens to Atlanta book. So also you don't have to lick everything, but I understand you might have to lick everything. It's actually a very, very nice book as well. So next time the power goes out, I'm going to sit down and actually read these books and look at them. Uh, this one as well, this one. Pop it open like that. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I don't know where you got these printed. But that is awesome. Is that a magnet? It is a magnet. It says magnet on it. Look at that. It's like my banner. I love that. You think if I threw it on the van, people would definitely subscribe? We'll figure out something with this guy. We're going to put him somewhere. He might be inside the van. I, I'll think about that. I don't want the... Uh, it should be waterproof. Maybe I'll throw in the back of the van. Salsa, what are you eating? We'll figure out a place for that guy. That, that thing needs to be put somewhere. Maybe I'll put it inside. I just don't want it to be not waterproof. I think it is waterproof. Um, and then we have another package here. Very, very cool. So we have a duplicate as well. So we'll figure out something to do with this. Uh, thank you, Jackie, for the wonderful gifts. Thank you for the magnets. Thank you for all the gifts, the shirt, the books, the money as well. I know uh, greatly appreciated. I know you did spend some money on packaging as well because shipping this stuff in Florida probably was not cheap. Uh, so I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Salsa is really going to enjoy her gifts. She's currently sniffing the, uh, the hoodie right now. So thank you, Jackie, and greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well in Florida and you're staying safe and soon to be happy holidays to you as well. Thanks, Jackie. Greatly appreciate it. This one is from Cheryl F. in Ohio. We have another large package here. Thank you, Cheryl, for this. Greatly appreciate it. Looks like we have a very large package. Very, it's wrapped very well. It's also, 
is eating every possible insect in this room, and I don't understand why, but she is. I see hats, I see gifts, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, wow. Salsa? Salsa's looking like everything. Get that over there. Do have a letter. This is to Salsa from Aunt, Auntie Cheryl. Salsa's breathing heavy. She's getting anxious. There's a lot of stuff going on. Dear Salsa and Taka, I hope you are both doing well and hoping that this box is better than my last box. Oh, come on. Every box is good. I'm glad you did like the light blue Rock and Roll Hall of Fame shirt. That is, yes, that light blue Rock and Roll Hall of Fame shirt, I wear that nonstop. If you guys ever see me like with a sweatshirt on and like there's a baby blue shirt, that is literally that shirt. I wear it nonstop. I've included a squeaky ball for salsa, a couple Christmas gifts for her. I'm sure she'll like all the great smells from the clothes in the box. There's a small bag of Halloween candy for you. For my recent birthday, my friend also watched your channel, gave me a great gray Taco Stacks t-shirt. Love it. Take care. Happy holidays. Cheryl F. Thank you, Cheryl F. Hopefully all is well with you, and thank you for the wonderful gifts. Uh, like I said, uh, that shirt I wear a ton. Salsa is going to love smelling this. We do have some gifts here for Salsa, which I won't give her to her now. She probably should have kept this seal for Salsa for Christmas. But we're here and I've already opened it, so that's what's happening. Beef and veggies, beef and veggies recipe jerky sticks for Salsa Girl. Maybe I'll even put that back. She didn't see. We'll throw it underneath the Christmas tree for Salsa Girl. Throw it underneath. Salsa's not going to see that. Don't worry, Cheryl. Auntie Cheryl, we got under control. Bunch of candy. Love candy. Voice. Snack on nose. Ah, wow. For people who might not be very familiar with vintage wear. The three stripe on the side is very, very hard to come by. And it's very, very sought after. If you look up three stripe hats on eBay and you find certain teams, such as teams, I mean soda brands like Mountain Dew, you will see they're very sought after. I've never seen a college one in my day. So this is very, very cool. I love it. It's a three stripe snapback trucker hat. For University of Indiana, or maybe Indiana University. Hoosiers, great basketball program. Love the hat, love it. Ooh, an older Cleveland Browns. Ooh, with the same with the tag on. Where do you? I wonder. Do you find these at thrift stores? Do you have them? Because these are absolute gems. Good old Cleveland Browns snapback, still with the tag. Got a little flat, but easily can just pop that bad boy right out. Made by AGD. We have a ball, which I believe is for good old salsa. Concerning it says Nerf Dog on it, I'm going to go ahead and say it is for salsa, and it has a golden retriever on the front. It's for salsa. So thank you for that. Maybe we'll throw this at the dog park. Uh, but thank you for that. It kind of looks like a blitz ball. People remember the blitz ball thing. There's a lot of shirts here. This is going to be heaven. It's going to be awesome. Because I see a lot of really cool colorways. And once again, thank you, Cheryl. Is this going to work like that? No, you know, I'm going to just keep it like that. Hey, you know what? Put it like this. For people who might not see, there's a lot of shirt, shirts in there. Thank you, Cheryl, because I know this was a pretty expensive package to ship. Uh, but thank you for that. Uh, this one is to Salsa from Auntie Cheryl. This one's already wrapped. I'm going to leave this for... This is like a chocolate bar. It's probably a chew of some sort. I'm going to save that for Christmas. That's going to be for salsa. i got to keep stuff for salt. I mean, that's what we got to do. Look at that. Is this the inaugural season? It's not the inaugural season. It's the 40th season. For the Angels. Awesome graphic. I used to love that graphic. Uh, that's for the Angels. Baseball, the Angels. This one looks... I see a hockey jersey. It's intriguing my mind. This one's Bubba Gump. Good old Bubba Gump Shrimp Co. 
You just see like the graphics on some of these and just like, that's gotta be really cool. Charter member 1995 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh, wow. More rock and roll shirts. Yes, I love it. It's an XL, but some of these vintage shirts do shrink. Yeah, so they're very narrow. Some fit very narrow and long. So this is going to probably shrink lengthwise and it'll be a perfect size. Uh, very cool rock and roll shirt. Nice vintage Cleveland Indian shirt. Made in USA, Russell Athletic. Love it, love it. Some really cool shirts here. This, I love this shirt. Sizes XL, this one's also probably gonna shrink. Look at that logo on it. For anyone out there who likes the vintage wear, I know I do have a couple friends who love collecting this stuff. Check out these graphics on these, these are awesome. A lot of these feel like they're dead stock. They're awesome. So I don't know where you got these from, if you've been stockpiling them, but these are awesome. I love every single one of these. Pro player, we have a spring, there's a space spring training. Spring training, Cleveland Indians. That's awesome. This is the World Series. It is the World Series. Such cool graphics on all these. I actually love the older colorways. This one looks like Ohio State. It's also is currently sniffing on them. I'm going to hold on to this hockey thing. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> oh, wow. I had this shirt. Let's <laughs> go with my Olympic stuff. I had this shirt at one time. Oh, wow. Sure, there's a lot of shirts. Not going to need a shirt for quite some time. All right. This is one of those. They're kind of popular now. I don't know, some limited or something. Uh, was that? That's Pink Floyd. That's a, if you're a Pink Floyd fan, you gotta love that shirt. Gotta love it. That's awesome. On the brick, I forgot what that. Uh, I might wear it at the flea market next year. People might love that. Rock and roll. This is a reusable bag, I believe. Find space. I think we have some Cleveland Cavalier shirts. Nice Adidas one. Cavaliers 2015. This is with uh, LeBron James. Ooh, dead stock. Wow. Giving back memories. Just like in those poly bags. Still has the price tag on it. It's an old Hanes Beefy Tea. I'm not going to open it. I just want to savor the moment with that. Maybe I'll just keep it like that. Bringing back some memories today. This looks like an old nutmeg shirt. It is. Cleveland Browns, right? Blitz this. Cleveland Browns. 1994. I didn't even know the Browns were around 94. I thought they were an expansion team. That's my knowledge on football. Some more Cavaliers apparel. Amazed on the amount of vintage wear here. Phillies, right? No, Phillies, not Phillies. Why am I thinking Phillies? Indians. Oh, wow. Throw this one on right now. I don't think I even own any Vineyard Vines apparel. This is a Vineyard Vines. Man, I would have been a cool kid in college if I had Vineyard Vines. I was so cheap. It's also like 74 degrees today, which is unusually warm. Now I look like I believe at all. I look like I belong at like Harvard or something. How's that look? My probably looks pretty fancy. I actually I like navy blue. This looks oh, it's because the inner color has a color. I'm looking at myself in the in the camera and it looks really weird. It looks like this is like just I don't know, like you know like those fancy boat people have like those sweaters that they put over their neck? Kinda looks like that, but when you get closer, it's just the collar. I love that. Vineyard Vine shirt. Some more vintage Indians. Getting to that hockey jersey. Getting to that hockey. This looks like a Chipotle shirt. Am I losing it? Mickey Mouse, maybe? Mickey Mouse. I think Chipotle. Because isn't Chipotle like their bags? Isn't their bags like kind of like that? Their paper bags? Cheryl, you really knocked out of the park with this one. Greatly appreciate all these tees. There's a lot of really good ones here. Dayton, University of Dayton, Dayton. I have a friend who graduated from there, that's great. 
I want to send them a photo after this. I haven't talked to them in quite some time. And then lastly, bum 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 bum. Is there a name on the back? It's blank back. Wow. San Jose Sharks hockey jersey. Blank back on the vintage turquoise or teal. Love it. When I was a kid, I had this same exact jersey. I remember it because I loved the patch on the sleeve, right there on the shoulder. There's maybe three or four jerseys I remember as a kid having, besides having probably 30 New York Rangers blue jerseys. It was this one, and maybe like uh, the Florida Panthers, and that's pretty much it, until I probably see another one. But this is bringing back a lot of memories. A lot of good memories. Elementary school uh, memories. This one is a men's XL. It's not a youth medium that I probably had. But this one is awesome. Bringing back a lot of memories there. Thank you, Cheryl, for that. You definitely hit out of the ballpark with this. Um, I did not just like throw it on the floor. I've been like making a pile and just going on the pile. Uh, but Cheryl, thank you for that. Thank you for all the wonderful t-shirts, all the wonderful apparel. The gifts for Salsa as well, who's now in the corner thinking about what she wants to chew on. But she's sitting over there. Uh, thank you for the Bindu Vine shirt as well. It's probably not coming off my body until I go to bed tonight. So uh, thank you, Cheryl, for that. I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well in Ohio. And thank you for all the wonderful gifts again. Thanks. Alrighty, everyone. That's going to wrap it up here. We have mail day everywhere. This is kind of what it looks like after mail day, uh, and then good old salsa. Thank you to everyone who sent packages. Thank you to everyone who sent packages in the past. Thank you for all the support as well over the past couple months. I know that this year has been very, very tough, and uh, you guys and girls have always been very, very supportive of the channel, myself, as well as Salsa. Um, so thank you for that. If anyone out there wants to send any sort of packages, I'll probably do another mail day. Early to middle December, probably for the holidays, and then any remaining packages that don't make that cut will be open probably early January. So if you guys want to send anything, my P.O. Box information is in the description below. Uh, I do only accept things that are sent through the post office. Anything that's sent through FedEx or UPS just does not end up at my post office, so I just can't get it. Uh, because of the layover that they have, if you send something UPS or FedEx or whatever, it takes a couple days for that package to appear in my mailbox in terms of like the card that I have to drive to the place. And by then, it might already be sent back to you. So it has to be sent through the post office. But my PO box information is in the description below if you guys want to send anything. Thank you for all the wonderful gifts. Uh, and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's adventure. I know I don't usually post on Sunday, but thank you. Thank you for all the support. And catch you guys tomorrow. Till tomorrow, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.